Hi there, Andre here from Peak Motorcycles and I'm here at Motorcycle Live 2022 here in the UK and I'm at the BSA stand. So it's been a year since I was here last when they launched the Gold Star. So I'm kind of interested to see what's, what's happened since then. Um, I don't think the bikes have started filtering through to the dealers yet, um, even the people that got their orders in early. So I think they'll be showing maybe more of the same, but I think last year we had pre-production prototypes. Hopefully this year it's the first of the production models. I've also heard they've got a few customs on here, and if I can find someone from BSA who will give me a, a bit of a talk through what the latest is, I know there's a lot of people waiting to know when their bikes are going to turn up. So I'll see what I can find out. Here we go. So the very first thing I think I'll show you from this BSA stand here at Motorcycle Live 2022 is this uh, Scrambler. So this looks a, a, custom, a custom that's been put together. Um, just to see what can be done with this new frame. Um, I think you'll agree that does look quite significantly different from the, from the standard gold stars that you might have seen out there already. It's still got that same engine on the inside. It's just with that, with that twin exhaust, you've got the number plate on the, the side panel. It looks like the top end has been re-engineered as well with some extra illuminated switches and things. And we've got the scrambler graphics on that and the new seat. Coming around the front, you'll see we've got a slightly more off-road looking tyre uh, together with that new headlamp. And yeah, just the whole look and the feel of the bike actually looks really, really modern. I know with the, the, the Gold Star itself, they've kind of stuck to the classic lines and have done really well with it. Okay, so I'll have a look, give you another close look at the Gold Star. If you haven't seen this from my video from last year, these are the latest bright bikes they've brought along here today. Um, I know there's a lot of people who have said that they're not like the old ones, and you know what? They're not, but this is what is going to be coming out shortly. So the little Brembo caliper at the back. Um, a few slightly odd things when you come up and look over the top of the bike. Um, it's not sure about this thing, which is the USB socket. But otherwise, yeah, I really like the look of them. Um, I know they're not everyone's cup of tea, but I think they probably are mine. And they're also available in this red and white colorway, which I think personally is my uh, favorite. Um, yeah, just, just sort of a really nice sort of classic looking biking with that stripe and stuff. Yeah, I think that's, uh, that's cracking. I'm just gonna keep on walking down, and they've got it in the, the silver and the chrome. And uh, as you can see there, the show is really, really filling up now. Uh, blue and the green, and a huge amount of interest uh, here at the BSA stand. Hi guys, I'm Jack from Lucas Distribution, the distributor for BSA in the UK. We're here at Motorcycle Live, obviously showing off the new BSA Gold Star. BSA is back, and it's a huge, huge deal. A lot of customers have been coming in, they're seeing us, they're, they're excited about the new brand and the new bike. I think the, the major thing is, you know, bikes are now due, the biggest news is that demos are available. So your local BSA dealer will have a demonstrator that you can go and ride and actually take it on the road and go and experience what this bike's at. People have been waiting a long time to be able to come in and actually ride the bike. So do you know what? Get in touch with your dealer and get a demo ride done. Obviously most popular, the bike in front of, well, in front of me is the Silver Sheen Legacy. Uh, this bike starts at £7,000 plus on the road. Uh, you have another couple of uh, choices as well, which is the Insignia Red, uh, the Midnight Black, Silver Dawn, and then also the um, Highland Green. Highland Green, six and a half thousand pounds plus on, uh, plus the road tax registration fee and the PDI cost, so 300 pounds. Um, again, the big news from the show is that the bikes are now available. Uh, so customer orders are going to be starting very, very soon. We're going to be getting those out to, to customers who have already pre-ordered. If you've got a pre-order on now, it's not a long wait for you to be able to get a bike. Um, but it all starts with getting out there and getting a demo ride on a bike. Um, is the opportunity for you to be able to start going out there and experience this. You know, the, the brand means a lot to people and it has meant a lot to people. One well, of the best things from the show this year is all the stories. So guys have been coming up onto the stand and they're telling me about their brother's bike, their dad's bike, and the, the, the amount of passion that they have for the BSA brand is hopefully something that we can obviously pass on and ensure that people are enjoying the bike. And again, it all comes down to you coming out, riding the bike and finding your dealer. If you need any sort of info on finding your dealer, obviously use our website, which is Lucas Distribution. Uh, just search in BSA on Google, you'll be able to find it. And we've got a little dealer locator on there. Um, from that, you're then going to be able to find out where you can come and ride the bike and obviously get it ordered and be ready to ride for 2023. Thank you. That, that's great. And just to check, that's for the UK. 
Yeah. Uh, and any 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 plans for the international oh, market? Uh, yeah, absolutely. So internationally, obviously, there will be more distribution coming. We're the distributor for the UK. Um, so we've put the plans in place of how to get them into the UK dealers. Uh, plans for Europe and the rest of the world are coming. The best thing to do is just keep an eye on our social media. Um, and before you know it, the bikes are going to be available. Uh, but yeah, the UK is going to be first, and the rest of the world is coming. So I see on the bike you've got here that there's actually quite a few accessories and things. Can you just talk through some of those bits? Oh, absolutely. So this genuine accessory range is going to be available as soon as possible. You know, pretty much as the bikes are out, you're going to be able to accessorize with this. So we've got the lovely little Clubman screen. Um, gives that real 1950s, 60s vibe. Uh, you've got your adjustable levers, and as every single good retro bike needs, a good set of bar end mirrors as well. C can um, you see anything in them? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm a big lad, but I can uh, see past my elbows, no issue. Um, the tank bag, this is just a, a magnet tank bag, but what I do really like is that it comes with the security uh, clip on there, so obviously if anyone's uh, trying to steal anything, Standard fit on the bike, not accessory, is the USB socket. So that's uh, both USB A and USB C. And also on this side, you've got a classic 12 volt socket, perfect for plugging in any sort of heat of gloves, jackets, or anything like that. Can you, can you plug a charger into that? Yeah, absolutely. Grand. Um, up on the back of the bike, we've got the luggage, so we're offering the panniers and the rear seat bag. And you can see on there as well, we've also got the uh, rear rack. Uh, to go on which has got a little bit of a uh, pillion passenger hold and of course should the worst ever happen a really nice sturdy set of engine bars as well but everything is great quality it goes really well with the, the bike and obviously fits in with the brand for us brilliant thanks a lot no worries at all buddy so that's it that's my very short video from the bsa stand here at motorcycle live in birmingham in the uk uh, there's not a lot more to report really other than the bikes are still coming the gold star is still on the way and a few people have done a few uh, custom mods to them so i hope that's been interesting and useful if it has been please check out my other content for motorcycle live and i'll see you next time thanks for watching